Hi friends, in this video, we are going to see how to use two watt meter method to measure power in case of delta connected lagging power factor load. Lagging power factor means it's an inductive type of structure. So delta connected lagging power factor load is connected to a three phase supply whose line or phases are R, Y, B and the watt meters are connected like this. So these are watt meters. This is watt meter one to W one, and this is watt meter two W two. Current coil of first watt meter is connected in series with R phase, and voltage coil is connected between R and B phase. For second watt meter, current coil is in series with Y phase and voltage coil is between Y and B. Here we will have a line voltage VRY, VYB and VBR. To this three phase supply we are going to connect delta connected lagging power factor load so load is like this balanced load will have phase impedance zph These are the phases of load R, Y, B. Now, current carrying by this line is IR. This line it is IY, and over here it is IB. Let's mark all the voltages and current at the phase side. This is a first phase. And the voltage across ZPH is VRY. Y and B. This is VYB. B and R. This is VBR. Phase currents. Current carrying by this ZPH impedance is IRY. Here it is IYB. And for this phase, it is I B R. Let's quickly mark all the voltages and currents. So, V R Y, V Y B, V B R is nothing but V L, which is line voltage. I R, I Y. IB is nothing but IL line current. Then at load side, once again we are having VRY, VYB, VBR, but this time it is phase voltage. So it is obvious that for delta connected load, line voltage is same as phase voltage. And IRY, IYB, IBR is our phase current IPH. And ZPH is a phase impedance. Which is 
लैगिंग पा फैक्टर लोड सो स्टेप नंबर वन इज ओवर ड्रॉइंग अ सर्किट डायग्राम एंड मार्किंग ऑल द वोल्टेजेस एंड करंट्स लेट्स गो टू स्टेप नंबर टू दैट इज रीडिंग ऑफ वैट मीटर्स we have used two watt meter method so watt meter 1 and watt meter 2 i need to know what is the current measured by watt meter 1 and what is the voltage across voltage coil of watt meter 1 same is the case for watt meter 2 for that let's check circuit diagram once again it's quite obvious that current coil of watt meter 1 will sense and measure ir voltage coil of watt meter 1 will measure vrb for watt meter 2 current reading is iy and voltage reading is vyb so let's write that so current sense by watt meter 1 is ir and voltage vrb watt meter 2 current is iy and voltage is vyb so that i can write watt meter 1 will have the reading w1 equal to vrb multiplied by ir multiplied by cos of angle between vrb and ir similarly watt meter 2 will have the reading vyb multiplied by iy multiplied by cos of angle between vyb and iy so my job is to get angle between vrb ir and vyb iy and that i can measure with the help of phasor diagram so angles vrb ir and vyb iy can be found out with the help of phasor diagram Let's draw phasor diagram now. We always start with the phase voltages. This time, phase voltages are phase voltages are V R Y, V Y B, and V B R. So let's draw V R Y. So this is V R Y. lagging vry by 120 degree i have vyb this angle is 120 degree leading vry by 120 degree i have third phase voltage that is vbr it is lagging power factor load that means phase current lags phase voltage by angle phi so for vry the phase current is iry lagging vry by angle phi iyb lagging vyb by phi and for vbr the phase current is ibr lagging corresponding phase voltage by angle phi now we know this is a delta connected load so i can say if i want a line current ir that is given as iry 
minus i b r all these are the phasors similarly i want one more line current and that is i y and i y can be obtained by i y b minus i r y so this leads me to draw minus i b r and minus i r y so equal and opposite to i b r i have minus i b r and if you check a watt meter readings i should know vrb so how to get a vrb it is equal and opposite to that of vbr so i should know minus vbr which is vrb so this is v r b so what we have done both the phasors minus phasors we have drawn that gives me angle between them will remain same equal to phi so this is very important step now let's do this addition iry minus ibr so minus ibr is there iry is already there so i can add these two phasors that will give me a new phasor which is nothing but ir let's do second calculation that is iyb minus iry so for that i should know minus iry so equal and opposite to iry i have minus iry and phasor addition of these two will give me one more phasor and that phasor is nothing but iy what are the phasors that we should know is vyb iy vrb ir so we know all these phasors let's find out angle between them for that i'll consider this iy is a line current and this iyb is a phase current so we know the angle between them is 30 degree similarly this ir is also a line current and this iry or you can say minus ibr both are phase currents so angle between them is 30 degree so if i see properly i will get angle between vrb and ir equal to 30 degree minus 5 and angle between vyb and iy is 30 degree plus 5 so from the phasor diagram i got the angles that are required for further calculation let's do further calculation now i can say w1 already given as vrb multiplied by ir multiplied by cos of angle between vrb and ir vrb is a line voltage ir is a line current and angle between them from the phasor diagram we calculated 30 minus 5 so this is wattmeter 1 reading i will give number equation 1 similarly w2 given as vyb multiplied by iy multiplied by cos of angle between them 
VYB and IY. So W2 is VL IL cos 30 plus 5 equation number 2. So I'm getting two equations. Let's add these two equations. I will get W1 plus W2 equal to VL IL I will take common in bracket it will be cos 30 minus 5 plus cos 30 plus 5. So here I have to use the formula cos C plus cos D is nothing but 2 times cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 so if i use this formula over here w1 plus w2 equal to vl il in bracket 2 times cos 30 minus 5 plus 30 plus 5 upon 2 into cos 30 minus 5 minus 30 minus 5 by 2 so here I can cancel 5 here I can cancel 30 and if I solve further I will get w1 plus w2 equal to 2 VLIL cos 30 multiplied by cos minus 5 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and cos minus 5 is cos 5 only so if I substitute this I will get w1 plus w2 as 2 vl il root 3 by 2 multiplied by cos 5 once again 2 to get cancelled and finally I will get w1 plus w2 equal to root 3 vl il cos 5 I will consider this as the equation number 3 but if you see what is a 3 phase power formula this w1 plus w2 is nothing but a power consumed p so p is nothing but w1 plus w2 so here i can say addition of two watt meter readings will give you a total power consumed in a three phase circuit let's calculate power factor by knowing two watt meter readings so for that purpose i will perform one more operation so what i will do i will subtract equation 2 from 1 so equation 1 minus equation 2 so that will give me w1 minus w2 equal to again vl il i will take common in bracket it is cos 30 minus 5 minus cos 30 plus 5 so the formula that i have to use over here is cos c minus cos d which is nothing but 2 times sin c plus d by 2 into sin d minus c by 2 so let's use this formula so w1 minus w2 equal to vl il in bracket 2 times sin 30 minus 5 plus 30 plus 5 by 2 into sin d minus c so 30 plus 5 minus 30 plus 5 divided by 2 so what i can cancel 5 get cancelled and over here 30 30 get cancelled and if i simplify i will get w1 minus w2 
एस टू वी एल आई एल साइन थर्टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय साइन फाइव साइन थर्टी इज वन बाई टू सो इफ आई सब्सिट्यूट लेट्स सी व्हाट वी विल गेट सो डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू इक्वल टू टू पी एल आई एल वन बाई टू इन टू साइन फाइव टू टू गेट कैंसल एंड फाइनली डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू इक्वल टू बी एल आई एल साइन फाइव equation number 4 now we'll perform operation equation 4 divided by equation 3 so i will get w1 minus w2 upon w1 plus w2 equal to vl il sin phi अपॉन रूट थ्री वी एल आई एल कॉस फाइव फ्रॉम दिस आई कैन कैंसल वी एल आई एल एंड साइन अपॉन कॉस इज टैन सो आई कैन से डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू अपॉन डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू इक्वल टू वन बाय रूट थ्री टैन फाइव and for the simplification i will get phi as tan inverse of root 3 bracket w1 minus w2 upon w1 plus w2 so by knowing the two watt meters reading i can get power factor angle from which power factor of the load can be calculated as cos 5 thank you